Moses was told, you are going to liberate the children of Israel from Egypt. Take them to the promised land. And wherever you go, I shall be with you. And he said to him, wherever you put your foot, the place shall be yours. So we are here in this house today, we are children of Abraham. The same Abraham who is the father of Isaac. The one who gave birth to Jacob. Jacob who produced the people of Israel. So I want you to take yourself, put yourself in that state where Moses is your guider your leader, your ear, your eye. When the children of Israel were going from Egypt, going to Canaan, they never knew the road. It was only one man who was having the light, who was knowing and hearing from God. I believe this is the time where we have to close our ears and allow the spirit of the Lord to lead and direct us in this time that we are living in. When Moses was moving with the children of Israel along the road, because of the joy, the good things, though they were in slavery, though they were being whipped each and every day, Though they were crying each and every day, crying to God, God, deliver us. You said you will deliver us. Now, when they were along the road, on the way going to the promised land, they started to see problems. Matata, in king. And when they were seeing problems, they forgot to run to the men who said, God said. There was a man there called Moses who said, God said, I must take you from this land to the land that he has promised to your father Abraham. Now when the problems come, they forgot. They started crying and speaking things. Speaking a lot of things. It is because we were not eating and we were not enough in Egypt. Is it because there were no graves in Egypt? Is it because there, were, there was no money in Egypt? Is it because this and this and that? But they forgot this man, Moses, is the one who was given the vision. Take my people to the promised land. Now when we are children of God, I want you to look deep into your spirit and your soul. There are so many challenges that are coming away. Marahe, unalemu utu kotengia sifapan. Kia nadi tumilenka ufela dita bache. Hadi retaba irewela huyen. When we feel uncomfortable, we just go back to him. Yes, ondite mini. What is it that I have to do now, Jesus? You said you'll be with me. The Holy Spirit will be there with me. Wherever I go, the spirit will be there with me. And you said, when you were speaking, you said, Lo, behold, I am with you until the end of time. Baba, you promised. Jesus, you promised. Now when trouble comes, we forget to go back to the cross of Calvary and tell him, Jesus, what next? Now when trouble comes our way, we go to our friends and say, friend, what next? When you have your problem, you go back to your auntie. Auntie, what next? Auntie, auntie, what's your role? I believe right now this is the time that when things are the way they are, you go back to the cross of Calvary. Kie nadi tumile ngurena jesu dita bache. 
he agreed and said, Father, I will go and die for them. And he did came and died for us. Now when we don't understand, we bow. We don't go to friends, we don't go to people, we don't ask somebody. We ask him, Father, what do you say about my situation? God, what do we say? What do you say about what I'm coming across? So I want you to raise your hands. I've heard you, you were worshipping and blessing him. I want you to go before God right now. And say, Father Jesus, what is it that I have to do now? What is it that I have to do? I don't know what to do. I don't even know where to go. I am confused. My job has ended. I don't even know how I'm going to feed. Everything has stopped. I don't know what to do again. But Father, Jesus, Lamb of God, tell me what to do. What is it that we have to do? We are in the wilderness. We are lost in the middle of nowhere. We don't know where to go again. Tell us the way to take Morena way Yehovah wanga way Uzi muanga Chavero la muchino anga Morena chino Uzi muasa paneri Ono amba shaite Ono fulandira luanjeni Ono neashili wa sogani Arani mosi ita nga chupi nga chaba isimaere Kabazi ita charisi na mosi Mavotika avureye Minango kaivureye ova Zvisi makajere Minambo kaiere futi baba Urena wangarori de Kia la wala Koni ya ndelele shite you said, Lord, as we open our mouth and worship, your presence will come and be with us, Lord. will always be with us each and every day. We are calling upon your name, Lord. Can you call upon the name of the Lord, somebody? We are calling upon your name. Jesus, we are calling upon your name. There is no other one we know except you. We only know you, Jesus. Lover of my soul. Keeper of my destiny. The Lord who is always there. Your majesty. Your majesty. Arakulea Tongoshike. Mandila lo sita ya kalo sita kikanda ni ni na mandi esite ya dereshiko rahala bandi esite menior karati hikoroko sitrika take everything unto the Lord Jesus he is ready to solve your problem ready to take you where you are supposed to go the job you lost yesterday. It's for the glory of the name of the Lord because greater place you are going. The problem that you have today is for the glory of the name of the Lord because your healing will surpass human understanding. The things that will happen will surpass the understanding of man. Tell Jesus what you want. He's still hanging at the cross. He hanged on the cross, still hanging even today. The blood is still oozing from his body. The blood has to wash you clean. 
Jesus. 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 Name above all names. Jesus. The name above all names. Jesus. My God, my Father, creator of heaven and earth. Alpha and Omega, first and the last, the beginning, the end, the end. In your nono shiki and yes, we give you the praise. Let us raise our hands to the Lord. <laughs> Lord, I feel your presence. I feel your presence. Feel your power. Feel the anointing. I feel it, Lord. I hear it, Lord. I feel it. <laughs> 